I want to make a video um, about something that it's maybe not the happiest topic in the world. Um, now that I'm up and I'm dressed and stuff, I figured why not make a video. <laughs> so I am. So anyway, um, this video is about the history I've had with my dog uh, and my dog passing away. The dog I'm going to be talking about is, his name is Sailor. This is him. I don't know if you can see him too good. That's Sailor. He um, was a black German Shepherd. Um, beautiful boy. He was, um, I, I got him from a rescue. I've, or not a rescue, I'm sorry, a shelter. I've always been an animal person, specifically a dog person. Um, I've always loved dogs and I've always had dogs. Um, when I was uh, living in Colorado, I was married to my first husband. I decided to go to the shelter and go look for a dog. Um, I went to the shelter with a dog, uh, with a specific dog in mind. They had a chow chow. I've always liked chow chows. So I went to go look at him. I walked him and everything. And um, he was typical chow chow, kind of aloof, not really too cuddly or friendly or anything. And so I just wasn't feeling it. So I was like, okay, well, let me see what other dogs there are. And they were asking me about my lifestyle and stuff. And they said, you know, this dog would be perfect for you. And I saw this big black dog. I wasn't looking for him. I didn't really like the way he looked. I He wasn't like, he wasn't like my type of dog. You know what I mean? So I was like, well, okay, I guess I'll go take a look at him. So... Um, the moment that I brought him out, I took him into a little room where we can do like a meet and greet. It, it was, it, it was like something that you read about in the books. I mean, we fell in love with each other. He put his paw on my knee. I got up to leave, I, you know, I got, it was the end of the meet and greet. I was petting him and stuff and finally it was time for me to leave. So I got up to leave. When I got up, he, he jumped up on me and would not let me go. He had his arms around me as if he was hugging me. And I was like, okay, obviously this dog really wants me and I think he's really cute how he's like, you know, putting his face on my knee and like putting his paw on my knee and stuff. And I think he really wants to go home with me. So I told the, the adoption counselor, I'm like, okay, I'll be back to come get him in two days. Um, and we did all the paperwork and everything. So it was finalized, it was settled. The day I came back to pick him up, the counselor came in and she, he was like, you know, he growled at me. And I'm like, he did? So now looking back, knowing, knowing who my dog is now, I think what happened was he had chosen me. He didn't have anybody before to be protective about, so he was fine and happy-go-lucky, whatever. But the moment he chose me, he started feeling protective, and he didn't want to belong to anybody else. I think he wanted to belong to me, and I think that's why he growled at them. He was like, I already have an owner. She's coming to get me, you know? So anyway, I was like, oh, wow, okay. So I bring Sailor home. I named him, originally his name was Sticks, but I named him Sailor because I'm really into anything that's nautical. So I bring him home and, and the rest is history. Sailor was the most amazing, loving dog ever. He, it was almost like he anticipated my needs. He knew, he knew when I was sad, he would come over and put his head on me. Um, he, Sailor was the love of my life. He was like my child. He was my soulmate. Like, Anything could be happening in my life, but but if I had Sailor, I was okay, you know? He wasn't going to leave me. He wasn't going to talk back to me. He would never do anything wrong. All he ever wanted to do was please me, and I think that's why I fell in love with him so much. The first few days I had Sailor, I was upstairs in my room. I came downstairs, and there was a big fucking dead rat on my stairs. Apparently, Sailor thought he would give me a thank you for adopting me present, and kill it and bring it and put it on my stairs. And I'm like, seriously, Sailor, I know you appreciate me adopting you, but you do not have to kill a rat and bring it to me. I really, that is really fucking gross. <laughs> so anyway, but I know he appreciated me. And he, Sailor never left my side. He was the best dog ever. He came to me. He was so well-trained. 
he actually knew like search and find it and attack like he knew like all these like crazy commands and I was like wow like I don't know what happened to you or who trained you before but somebody did a good job because you're very well behaved I mean he was so intelligent he picked up on anything and sailor hated cats but you know what he was so well trained that if he saw a cat he would go to attack it and I would give him the command and he would come off of it and come right back to me. He could be this close from the cat's face and if I give him the command, he will leave it alone and come back to me. That's how well trained he was. And eventually, after a few years, oh, when I adopted Sailor, he was already an adult dog. He was, they estimated him about five years old or so, like five or six. Um, so he was already older. And this was back in 2008 that I adopted him. So, um, after a few years, I got divorced. My husband left, went back to the East Coast, and I was living in the same house all alone. Single girl, all alone, in a big city, and I was just, like, terrified to do anything at nighttime. Like, I was scared to go grocery shopping. What if I come back in my car and there's somebody waiting in my car, waiting to kill me? You know, something like that. And these were the times that I really appreciated Sailor because I knew if I took Sailor in the car with me and left him there, and this was at nighttime, so it wasn't hot or anything, and it's in Colorado, it's cold, so Sailor was not overheating, he was totally fine. Anyway, I would leave Sailor in the car. If I was coming back with my groceries in my hand and I saw his little ears poking out of the window, I knew my car was safe. I knew it was okay because no way was Sailor going to let somebody in my car. He was very protective of me, very aggressive. Not like aggressive, but like aggressive to strangers that would approach me, he was. So like, um, for example, like if I was in the house and the male person came and knocked on my door, or somebody came and knocked on my door, Sailor pretty much acted like he was going to kill them. Like he wanted to like get them. But he was so well trained that if, that if I gave him the command, he would go and wait for me in the crate. As much as he wanted to kill them, he had self-control and he would go wait. And so he was just the most fantastic dog. I knew that when I was coming home from work, if I saw his face and his little ears sticking out from the window, that my house was safe to walk into. I didn't have an alarm. I was really broke and poor. And, um, you know, I just never knew what I was walking into. Is there somebody waiting for me in my house? But Sailor was always there. Sometimes I feel like he saved my life. I feel like because Sailor was home with me, I never had to worry about anything bad happening to me. He... Like, he, he was my everything. He was like my bodyguard. Like, people don't understand. He literally was my bodyguard. That's just the most incredible thing about German Shepherds. And I know other breeds can do this too, but German Shepherds are specifically bred to do this. He was so loyal and so noble and intelligent and serious and and loving and doting on me. Like, he, he would do, he would give his life for me, you know? And that's why... I fell in love with Sailor so much, and that's why I felt like he wasn't just my dog, he was my son. I don't have kids, I never had kids. Sailor was my child. So, when I was single, I lived in that house by myself with Sailor for about three years. After that, I decided to move in, uh, to move to California with my boyfriend who is now my second husband and Sailor came and lived in this house for two years. Sailor had an incredible life. We have a very beautiful house. We have a big house, big backyard. We in Colorado, we lived in a townhome. 